Hi, this is Neil, and beside me is a 2014 Volkswagen T1. Now, this car burns a large quantity of oil, or about a quart of oil every 400 miles to be exact. Now today, we're going to perform an engine piston soak by using a Behrman B12 chem tool, a solvent-based cleaner excellent in these tasks. This piston soak procedure will help break down any hard-to-remove residue on the piston rings, enabling reduced oil burning. Here are the materials that you're going to need today. So first, you're going to need a funnel. And then you're also going to need some Behrman B12 chem tool, two bottles, and also two extension rods, and something to measure your liquid with. So preferably a graduated cylinder or some sort of bottle. Like in this case, I just marked 110 millimeters on this bottle right here with the black Sharpie. And you'll see why it is significant later. You'll also need a 24 millimeter socket, a torque wrench, some spark plugs, either old ones or new ones, would both work fine. You'll also need a spark plug socket, a regular wrench, you will need an oil filter, and some cheap engine oil. First, we need to remove the engine cover, which will pop right off. There we go. Now once that off, we'll disconnect the coil pack harness, this component right here. Now, these connectors are a bit tricky to remove, so you can use a flathead screwdriver to push against each of the connectors. And once that off, you can gently push the harness out. Like that, we did it, one connector at a time. And now we are ready to remove the coil packs. So simply pull each one out and set them aside. After that, we will remove all four spark plugs using a spark plug socket and a wrench. With the spark plugs out, insert the two extension rods into cylinder 1 and cylinder 2. And now, we're going to need to use the crank. So the crank, which you can actually barely see on this camera, you're going to need the torque socket and the 24mm socket. And remember to rotate it clockwise. Now this ensures that the extension rods are aligned. Once the extension rods are aligned, take them out and now add the Behrman B12 chem tool, about 110 milliliters of it, which we added to this bottle as you can see right here. Now pour it into the funnel leading to the cylinder. Be sure to do it on each of the two cylinders. After adding the Behrman B12 Kentel solution to each of the four cylinders, make sure to add something into each of them, such as a paper towel, to avoid any external factors going in. And now, wait for it to soak for at least six hours. Here we are six hours later, ready to dump some more Behrman B12 chem tool into each of the cylinders. Now, unlike last time where we dumped around 110 milliliters, now you want to dump about a third of it, par se 30 or 40 milliliters. And don't forget to also turn the crank a few more times. Now, as of right now, we have repeated this process twice. Now, we want to do it a total of four times. So, after six more hours, we're going to do it once more. And after another six hours, we're going to do it one final time to make for a total of four times. We're currently at the 12 hour mark. And now, we're going to pour a little more Behrman B12 Kentel into each of the four cylinders. We're also going to turn the crank. 
And we, we are at the 18 hour mark. So now we're gonna pour a little bit of the remaining B12 chemtool into each of the cylinders. And remember to turn the crank one final time. It is now officially past the 24 hour mark. And now we're gonna start the engine without any spark plugs and coil packs. And that way we can force any remaining B12 and carbon deposit buildup out of the cylinders. So first, we're gonna place some clean towers or rags on top of the cylinders. And we're also going to place some wood on top of the towels or rags to prevent the towels from flying off. And now you can see how dirty the towels are. These come from carbon deposits from inside the cylinders. Now remember those spark plugs you removed at the near the beginning of the video? So now you're gonna reinstall them back. And along with the coil packs as well. And later we're gonna go in and start the car. It's going to take a couple of tries with these spark plugs, but that's completely normal. Great, now that's what we want to see. A gray smoke that came out of the exhaust. Now we're gonna let this car go idle for about 10 minutes and we're gonna drive it for about 20 minutes to clear any remaining gunk. We just did a fresh oil change and now we're gonna reset the odometer to zero. And now we're gonna drive the car for about 300 miles and see if there's any more oil burn. Hi, it's been over two weeks since we filmed our last scene. And as you see here, the odometer is now officially over 300 miles. And now it's time to go check the oil level. After opening the engine, you can take out the dipstick like this, but make sure to wipe it once using some oil absorbing paper. Place it back in and take it out once again for a more accurate result. And if you see here, you can see that the oil dipstick level is at its max right now, which is good because that means that we are not burning any oil. So with this piston soak procedure, we can see that this experiment was successful. So if you guys also want to do it as well, then I recommend giving it a shot. And that's all I'm going to show you for today. If you like this video, make sure to hit that like button below, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Also, if you have any comments, questions, or maybe any compliments, make sure to type them in the comments below. Don't be shy, and bye! See you in the next video.